Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. My name is Kyler Holland, and today we're going to be checking out a way for you to organize your project when you are moving computers. Let me paint this scenario real quick. Say you're at school and you're working on a project that's due tomorrow. Now, when I'm working fast, I pull in audio sources, I pull in videos, and I pull in images from different places. I don't always organize those on my computer. Now, if you know anything about Premiere, you'll realize that sometimes when those files or assets aren't in a singular location, Premiere has a hard time to find them. So when I would go home from my school computer, I realized I can't open my project because I don't have those files. They're on my school computer. So this video will show you how to avoid that and how to organize it all into one central location. So now that we're in Premiere, I'm going to show you that this is the project that I recently released about building my custom desk. If you haven't seen that, check the video out in the description down below. So you'll see over here in the project area, you'll see I have a ton of different videos and audio sources that aren't in the same location. Like this is on my NAS right here. All these audio files are on my downloads folder and all these videos are on my portable hard drive. If I were to save this project file and go to my other computer, I wouldn't be able to open this project because I don't have all of the source files. Premiere has a nice feature. Go to file, and then project manager. Once you click on project manager, this dialog box will open up. Now in this box, there's a bunch of different things that we can do. We're only gonna be working with the collect files and copy to a new location feature. You can also use this to archive videos if you plan on editing stuff later to save some space. Up here in the sequence area, you can see that we have a bunch of different sequences that you are working with. Since the only sequence that I want to copy is the desk sequence, then that is what I'm going to check. Under resulting project, we have to do is make sure collect files and copy to a new location is selected and then we can select the destination path. In this case I selected my four terabyte portable hard drive and named it project manager test. Under the options menu you have a few options that you can check or uncheck. Exclude unused clips will not copy any clips that were not used. If I check this any clips that I didn't use will not be copied over. Typically I will uncheck that and I will also uncheck include preview files because I like to re-render that stuff when I get to my other computer. And then I don't want to rename my media files to match the clip names either. So you click the calculate button down here and you'll see how much space the project size is going to be when it copies all the clips. For example, if you want to test doing different things, you can also calculate those as well. Clicking exclude unused clips actually saves me about 16 gigabytes. This is the simple process. All you have to do is click okay. As soon as you click OK, this dialog box will pop up. All you have to do is click Yes. It'll save your project and then it'll start copying the media. This process typically takes a while depending on how big your file size is. So just let Premiere go. Once Premiere has finished copying, you'll actually get this folder called copied and then your sequence name. Clicking on it will reveal all of the files that were used within your project. It's pretty sweet because all we have to do now is click on our project file right here and we can open up the project with no problems. And the cool thing about it is I can save this to a hard drive or upload it to a cloud service for easier sharing. Why is this important? Well, if you like to stay organized and you have everything where you, it needs to be, then you can completely avoid this step. But this is for that person who is working extremely fast, or if you just want to consolidate all your media to be 100% sure that everything is where it needs to be. I'll use this quite a bit actually when I'm transferring data from different computers because it's an easy way for me to be 100% sure I know it's going to work. This technique is also really nice because if I'm working on a tutorial and I wanna give you guys the source project files, all I have to do is zip the folder and upload it and give it to you to download. All in all, I just wanted to show you this technique because I think it will help you guys when you are working across different platforms or working from school to home. It's a great way to stay organized, but my number one tip of all is try to stay organized from the beginning because doing this takes a long time. It's still not even halfway done. But hopefully you guys learned something today. And if you did, click that thumbs up and subscribe because I'm going to be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.